So for those that know me know that I have become a cat lover over the years and I am now father to eight of these beasties. There's the little grey puss. So it's, it's hard work keeping them entertained and I was out and about in my local Asda the other day and I seen this from JML. It's the Pop and Play Interactive Cat Toy. Motorized peekaboo play, fun exercise for cats of all ages and includes two mice as well. It is powered by four of these beasties, which are C batteries. Now I'm just gonna take a little look around the box and just uh, explain what this is all about. So, unpredictable movements for interactive play, optional squeaking sounds keep Kitty intrigued, 15 minutes also shut off timer, which is on the front of the box there. Includes the base unit and two mice. Now, my understanding is that you put one mouse or mice on and it pops out of random holes to give you a spare one just in case they wreck it and judging by this this cat's history not this cat but my eight cats history they wreck everything that i buy them so it can be used on tiles carpets uh, hardwood floors 360 dome design is great for houses with multiple cats now this thing cost me nine pound 99 as i say from asda in the uk uh, you can get them off amazon or anywhere else really so uh, there's not much else to say about it other than uh, JML, uh, a UK company since 1986. Fancy a chat with a real human, then give one of our nice people a call in South Shields. So what we're going to do... ...is see what's inside. So first of all, we have the said instructions, which I don't think in all honesty we're going to need because it's quite self-explanatory, but there they are anyway for your viewing pleasure. Base unit and two mice, designed exclusively for cats. So step one, remove the cover. Step two, insert the batteries. Step three, put it on the floor, press the power button, and obviously you've got the sound which is optional it is as simple as that there's no other way of saying it it's as simple as that so uh, it features an auto off function that will uh, turn off automatically after 15 minutes so if you want to change the mouse you press and hold the power and sound button for three seconds and the toy will extend from the base unit so unscrew the mouse by turning counterclockwise to remove install the replacement mouse by turning clockwise that's probably the only information you're going to need. Other than that, it is self-explanatory. What else do we get in the box? We get a nice little bag of sweets, as per usual. I'm joking. And we have a spare mouse. Got to be the smallest mouse I have ever seen. And there's the back of it there, which you screw on. So I can see, I can see this going in. Um, downhill quite fast because as i say most of my cats are very destructive as you can see gray is trying to get up on top of my new unit uh, just a little explanation um you see the outrun sign just up there that's yet to have another light put in you have my amiga 1200 or you see my amiga 1200 uh, that is the uk's only dancing amiga 1200 or sound reactive i should say uh, i've done a video on that in the past Go and have a look. I've got various gubbins up there and now she is trying to get up there as you can see. And she is the clumsiest cat I know. So expect something to fall off or expect there to fall off. Anyway, without further ado, here is the base unit. And it's quite simple. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six holes in the sides. A pop and play logo on the top and obviously the battery compartment and then we have the power and sound so i've already installed three batteries now we're just going to put the last one in because i don't think you want to see me unboxing the batteries and putting them in although this last one is a bit of a twat there we go and obviously you've got a safety screw as per usual just in case your kiddies want to eat the batteries or your cats even it is possible 
it is possible. Let's just turn on before we go downstairs and test this out. So power button there. And there we go. And we have the button for sound as well. There we go. Right, we'll turn that off. So yeah, in terms of longevity, um, I can only see them breaking off the mice. So if you can buy more replacement mice, there he is there hiding. Um, bonus, but yeah, my cats are very destructive. Nothing against them, it's just, I think all cats are destructive to be honest with you. And we're doing, putting that away. So what I'm gonna do, we are gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna film them on the phone and see how this plays out. Righty ho. Look what daddy's got you. What's this? All right, I've just gone round the others up. Come on, sleepyhead. I've got a new toy for you. Where's Mr. Binks? Oh, sleepyhead. Got a toy here. Come on. I need you to test it all out for me. The on button. Power. And sound. Oh, what's this? What's that? Come on. There you are, Binks. If anyone's gonna wreck it, it's gonna be you. Come on, what's this? Here we go. Here's my newest kit in there. Little Scottish fold thistle. Mr. Binks, hold it all here now. It's all going off. Daphne, what do you think of this? This'll come on. Hmm. This'll come on. Well, he's not interested. She's sort of intrigued. Uh, Thistle is actually playing with it, which is a good thing. That's how it works, it just spins around like that and just makes random pops out of the holes. Come on, Thiss. Zelly. Zelda, come on. Yeah. Zelda. Come on, it cost me £9.99 this. Hey, Mrs. Zelda. Well, there's one cat at the moment having a little play with it. Mr. Binks, not interested. Daphne, Zelda is too busy cleaning her friggin' murder mitts. Grey, don't know where she is. Knox, don't know where he is. Winnie won't come downstairs. Uh, I've missed someone else here. Where's Nala? Binks, look. It costs £9.99, mate. Right, I'll let them get used to it and I'll report back, hopefully, with some cats playing on it. Come on, Dad. I think they're more scared than anything. Well, Nala's not interested. Nala, biscuits, dreamies. You're interested in that, aren't you? Hey, where's your dreamies? Where's your dreamies? Hmm. 
Ja. Yeah, I've got two interested parties. We've got Mr. Binks. Is, um, I thought if anyone was going to destroy it, it's going to be him, but. Oh well. Go on, girls. Yeah, Binks, go on, have a go with that, mate. Go on. Come on, we need more people involved here. We need more people involved. Now, these don't. Hmm. Well, hopefully. Yeah, she's gone. She's done. Only a little thistle. No. Try it with grey. That's excuse the uh, doing the washing here. Knox. Nala. And grey. Hiding there. Come on, have a play. Get my nine pound and ninety-nine worth out of it. Go on, Zoe. Have a go with that girl. Go on. Hey, go away, girl. Uh, too busy with the stick. Fine. Oh, we have we have movements here. Little thistle. She likes it at least anyway. Now let have a go with that girl. Go on. Nanny, come on girl. Um no, I don't know. He's all on the fence with this one, Batman. Hey? Where's Batman? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Oh well, I'll leave them to play. Two cats playing with us so far, so I suppose not a bad thing. So uh, hopefully they'll uh, get more enjoyment out of it. Right, I've just turned the sound off because it might be scaring some of them. See if the uh, see if they play with it and that fish out the way. Go on, Mr. Binks. I think if anyone's going to wreck it, it's going to be him. He's a very, very destructive cat. She's nice and calm, he's nice and calm. I mean, they're all nice and calm, but this little beastie here, who I rescued from a bin two years ago, wouldn't change him for the world.
things. Go on, things. Get them. Let's get him. <laughs> Have enough. Oh, he's gone. <gasps> oh, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. Hey, yeah, you big fluffy beast. Aren't you? Hey. Fluffy beast. So as you can see there, a bit of a mixed bag of emotions if I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I do have a big massive cat wheel as well and it's took weeks and weeks and weeks for one cat, one cat to use it and it was like £250. So yeah, it does get used only every now and then. Now this, as I say, maybe, maybe they're going to get used to it. I don't know, but uh, for £9.99, if it keeps two of them happy, you know what I mean? I'm happy as well. Because, um, as I say, uh, spending my day in this house before I go to work, if they're not sleeping, they won't play me. And when you're trying to play with eight cats and they all get jealous, one wants tickles, one wants head tickles, one wants belly tickles, just, oh, it becomes a nightmare sometimes. But there's one walking past me now, Mr Binks, who does like to cause trouble. As you've heard on previous videos as well, any growling, it's him, he starts all the trouble. But like I say, I wouldn't change it for the world. So yeah, that was just a quick video on um, if you've got cats, uh, would I recommend it? I'd, for £9.99, just get one. They're not that dear. And if your cat plays with it for 10 minutes per day, at least it's something keeps them occupied because my cats are all house cats and they do not go out and I refuse to let my cats out just because A, I don't know where they're going to go and B, there's too many assholes in the world now who will just see a cat in the road and just fucking run it over. And because the law states in the UK, you do not have to uh, report a cat getting run over by a cat, only a dog. So for that reason, my cats stay in and they're quite happy. They've got loads of stuff in this room. Uh, just to the left of shot, you, you well, there's a floor to see them scratch you and it stays in here. We've got three of them around the house. And generally, they're just around the games room and stuff like that. Just chilling out and um, I, I have on hand as well for my mouse mats like I've mentioned in the past one of these just to roll the mouse mat of any hair that can get stuck in the mouse so yeah so that's it for today's video I hope you've enjoyed it I know it's something a little bit different on this channel and uh, the channel is 2e tech and gaming so this is technology um, coming up on the channel, I have promised Amiga stuff. I mean, I've slipped off a little bit. I haven't really played any sort of Amiga stuff for quite a while now. Modern Gaming, Battlefield 2042 and Raspberry Pis and just general sort of tech that I find out. So I've just put, as I say, you can't really see it that well, but in previous videos, the sound reactor of Amiga 1200, it, it, it reacts to music and stuff like that. So that's now gone on display. My outrun light will be sort of on. Uh, just to the, just here, you can just see. Now, in my other channel, I do have an Explorer, and I found a 1980s Diet Pepsi can in an underground, <coughs> bloody hell, in an underground river. It was flat as a pancake, and I've managed to make it a little bit more round, and it's now on display next to me, Marty McFly at, and I've got my projector back on the go now, so I'm hoping to get 
the projector back on the wall just for the cats just to chill out and watch some random fish videos and stuff like that lemming in the background he's still sick he needs to be operated on that will be another video um, and just general uh, i've got an xbox 360 there which i need to do a video on that was given to me by a, a mate in work i've got me commodores well me c64 <coughs> mini and maxi on the floor i'm currently doing some videos on that i might do a halloween video i don't know and i'm eagerly awaiting any news if chris edwards is watching on um Pimega 4 is it four are we on four chris or is it three no it's four we're on three now it should be four so um hopefully hopefully chris will deliver um as always christmas time and uh, i can make another little video on it so yeah that's it for today guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you all in the next video nice shooting son what's your name Chewy.